If you're looking to add a link to a Google form, you may be wondering where the link element is located. When you create a new form, you'll see a title field and a question field. When you click on these fields, you'll see the options to add text elements, images, videos, and more in the floating toolbar next to each question or field. But there's no option there just to add a link. The short answer is that you can actually add a link just about anywhere. When you click into any editable text field, like a question, form title, or description, you'll see a formatting toolbar below it, including a link icon. You'll be able to enter both the URL and its display text. In some areas that don't display the formatting toolbar, Google will also convert pasted URLs into clickable links. As you can see right here, when I click on this, there's an insert link option, and I could absolutely add it to this text right here. You can add a link to nearly any text area in your form. In fact, there's actually almost no part of a Google form that you can't add a link to. Here's a list of places that you can add a link, either with the formatting toolbar or by pasting in a URL, like this. First, the form title. That's right, you can actually turn the first thing visitors see into a link. This is a great way to provide visitors with more information on what your form is about. As you can see, you can do this right here. Form description, same thing. Click on this and add a link to any parts of the text. You could even go so far as to turn this into a FAQ section with links to a lot of other information. So titles and descriptions, you can absolutely add links to them as well. Image titles as well. You can add it to any image that you're adding like this, just like that. You can also add it to video titles. So say you add a video right here from YouTube. Afterwards, you can add the link there as well. Simply paste the link like this, add the video, and then say this video right here, we can add the link. And as I showed you earlier, you can also add it to a question as well. Since there isn't space for separate descriptions for questions, links can really help you clarifying what you're asking. Simply add it to any of the questions that you find. You can even add it to the multiple choice options and checkboxes that are within the questions as well. Like option one right here, absolutely you can add links here. This is inclusive of scales and grids. As all of the labels for scale or grid questions can have links assigned to them, that includes the columns and rows for the matrix style questions. And again, you'll only see the hyperlinked URL, not the hyperlinked text. Now here's where you can't find the Google Forms. Now, where you can't add links to Google Forms is an important thing to note. You can technically add URLs anywhere. There's text in your form, unless those areas don't have a clickable aspect to them. That means you can't add a link to dropdown options. The default action when you click on a dropdown option is that you select the option. It wouldn't make sense to make that a link also. You also can't add a link to image hover text. So hover text shows up when your mouse stops moving over an image. So it's not gonna be able to link over the image itself, which makes it impossible to click on. Now, where can we get even more link options? What if you don't wanna just add links to your online forms, but also pre-formatted design blocks like social media previews? Basic links are good by themselves, but there are so many ways to display links as more than just text. For example, wouldn't it be nice to just add the URL for one of your social media accounts and have it automatically display your last few posts? Or how about a rich text editor that lets you add links to images and advanced formatting to text in your form? Advanced options like that aren't available in Google Forms, but they are available in JotForm. JotForm has a ton of widgets that help you customize your form however you like. That includes rich text editors and social media widgets. Just like Google Forms, JotForm is free to try. The difference is that JotForm will grow with your needs, so make sure to try it out today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.